All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, uh, I got a couple articles um, that I'm going to get into. Um, <clears throat> and it's, you know, concerning about. Um, or it's uh, it's about uh, you know China and the coronavirus. Um, right here it says coronavirus. U.S. companies restricting China travel as outbreak spreads, and you know everybody you know brothers should know that uh, the Chinese government is downplaying you know how many people are actually infected, and most likely you know the, the U.S. media is downplaying that as well, or at least you know they're not being told the correct numbers or what have you um but yeah i i immediately thought of uh i saw this um second ezra the 15th chapter um uh, is this the 15th yeah this is the 15th chapter uh second ezra 15 and uh, 17 it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able I'll start up a couple uh, I'll start at 15 it says for sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands all right and that sword just you know is means weapon you know because the modern day sword is you know a gun so to speak uh, for there <clears throat> for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And you see that happening right now. You know, China just underwent, you know, a huge uh, uh, protest, man. Where they got, you know, pretty physical. It was like, you know, upwards of, you know, I think like millions, man, taken to the streets. Um, <clears throat> and you had you know, all the protests in uh, France, the UK, uh, I think Finland too. And you had like upper elites taking their money out of, out of like Switzerland, you know. And Switzerland, they're like really wealthy companies. Or not companies, but uh, countries, you know. <clears throat> you know, they're not even tr trusting in the wealthy countries anymore, man. Uh, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. And th this, it, when you really understand prophecy, um, you understand that there's going to be a lot going on uh, during Jacob's trouble. You know, famine, pestilence, uh, wars, you know, riots, um, uh, so on and so forth. You know, you know shit's just going to hit the fan. And that, that's why they're going to have these uh, uh, safe zones, you know. Like, for for example, um, I don't know if brothers ever play that, uh, that the newest Spider-Man game on PS4. But, you know, that illustrates it, you know, really well. Um, trying to think of a movie or something that had safe zones. Uh, oh. Uh, that movie Netflix on Netflix with Will Smith, I think it's called Bright. Um, you know, with the fairies and you know, uh, fucking orgs and shit. Uh, you know, the the wealthy part of town, you know, is blocked off. You had military patrol uh, everywhere, and you know, right outside of it was where you know the hood was. You know, in the not so good parts of town where the orgs and you know other creatures were, but the fairies and the you know wealthy humans were, you know, in in those safe zones, all right. And uh, <clears throat> you know they can easily uh, use the microchip, you know, as a as a uh, well. I mean, right right here, this article. Uh, this was back in 2004. It was last updated in 2004. Uh, so this article, you know, was most likely written before that. Um, but it's FDA approves computer chip for humans. Uh, and 
it says Washington medical milestone or privacy invasion because you know this article talks about how uh, it could be used for you know the microchip implant can be used for uh, an access code to you know a secure database um, and it has all your medical records of it instead of you know having to go through all the paperwork and stuff when you uh, go to the hospital or something um, and you know they could easily use this uh, information you know store this information on you know uh, <clears throat> you know a secure database and that this microchip is a key to that database so where you can just scan they can see all your shit say okay you don't have the coronavirus or if you do then you know they can easily access all your medical information and they know how to treat you right away um, so they're, they're definitely going to use the coronavirus to push the chip or if not the coronavirus then there might be another one they're going to use anything and everything to push this uh, chip, all right? Um, because China already is in, you know, right here, trying to go full dystopia with mandatory, or this already happened. Uh, this rolled out in uh, Ju July. So China already has RFID chips in all their cars. And they also have, um, what's it called, biometric uh, technology you know the face scanning on every street corner um to where if they get caught jaywalking their you know credit score gets lower so they're definitely living in a you know dystopian society and then you wonder why you know these people are protesting you know why millions are taken to the street um but you know you don't hear about that um, <clears throat> anyways, this is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And, you know, that mark, that word mark, is, uh, uh, <clears throat> well, I forgot what it was. But it means, um, you know, an incision or a brand. I know the number, uh, Psychi Stigma. I remember that one. Karagma. I yeah, because Apostle Tahar named, named last year a uh, year of Karagma. But, you know, uh, Karagma, a stamp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead, um, it, the mark branded upon horses, yeah, of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, and, you know, that's a lesson for the other time, but, you know, long story short, there's not just one Antichrist. If you're against the will of the Heavenly Father, then that means you're Antichrist, all right? So there's many Antichrists. There's not one know supreme antichrist uh thing carved sculpture graven work of idolatrous image um but yeah this is a mark branded upon horses meaning you know when you brand uh one of your uh horses or cattle or you know any other uh, livestock that shows ownership over them. so if you take this mark of the beast then you know you're showing that you're owned by the beast system you know um and this is you know already happening and you know they they play it for convenience sake and you'll you'll see it, uh you know when i play the video city of lund in southern sweden dates back to medieval times over the centuries it's witnessed plenty of change but now there's a whole new sort of evolution going on. I'm here to meet some of the thousands of people in the country who are adapting their own bodies, who are inserting microchips under their skin. It means they may never have to carry a house key, train ticket 
or bank card ever again. This is a microchipping party. Hannah's getting an electronic chip implanted into her hand. She believes one day we'll all be chipped like her. Hey, she believes one day we will all be chipped like her. What does scripture say? All free and bond, rich and poor, and causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, uh, to receive a mark in their right hand. Now, in I also noticed in this uh, article, it talked about the cost of doing it. Um, it says in pets and song the chip runs about 50 bucks, which isn't much. But, you know, for humans, it's 150 to 200. And, you know, like I said, this article was written in 2004, so I'm sure it's a hell of, hell of a lot cheaper. And, you know, with Esau wanting this system to be going, you know, uh, you know he's going to offer some type of, uh, uh, you know, they're going to be giving this thing out practically for free to where you can have a bad credit score. <laughs> you know, he's one he's gonna want Jake to get this motherfucker, right? So congratulations Hannah. Thank you. You've been shipped. Yes, I have. How does it feel? It feels good. I'm I'm excited to see what I'll be able to do now. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can you can feel it there. I feel like this is the future. It's the next big thing that's gonna happen. Happy Cyborg birthday. Happy Cyborg birthday to you. <laughs> Congratulations. But is this sci-fi fantasy or practicality? I want to know why anyone would want to do this. For this teenager, microchips, it seems, are in her DNA. She is my daughter and I'm the, the father. So you're a microchip family? We will become one now today. Magnus and his daughter Felicia have come here together tonight because they believe this is the future. You're going to have an upgraded dad. Yeah. <laughs> As they say, it was good being a human, but being a cyborg is better. Didn't feel the thing. It's a quick, simple procedure with potentially huge significance. So you're officially part machine. How does it feel? This is awesome. How cool is that? <laughs> Do you think in a few years' time, in a decade perhaps, we'll all have things like this? Yes, of course. Right. Oh, I really do think. For around £130, anyone can get a tiny microchip like this inserted just beneath the skin in their hands. I can't help feeling a bit squeamish about it, but maybe I'm just behind the times. Yeah, so I mean, you, you know, you can research the chip, um, or watch the rest of the video. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description or something. Um, but yeah, the main point being, you know, uh, you know, they think everybody is gonna get it, and also that right here, she said, uh, you know, it'll soon replace a bank card. Uh, bank card, you know, your keys, uh, uh, boarding pass, uh, train pass, all that, man. Because what this is, uh, the, the chip is ultimately like a, uh, you know, a key, you know, it unlocks, you know, all your, uh, information, kind of like your, you know, debit card. When you scan it, you know, it's, it's the key to your bank account, but then you have your phone, you know, you have to put in a passcode or, you know, do your thumb scanning for that or facial, they have that facial unlock too. Um, you know, the, the chip is going to act like a, a key for all of it, you know, and no one can you know, do anything without it, man. Um, <clears throat> uh, but highlighting that, you know, they're going to, you know, push the your medical uh, information on that key as well or chip, microchip, or the mark of the beast. Um, this is uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Um, 
I'll start at I'll start at 18. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, uh, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers uh, shall stand in fear, uh, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? So, and you know the answer to that is you know just pray, uh, uh, pray, you know, and have hope that you might be saved through the spirit and power of you know the Most High Yahweh and through His Son Yahweh Shai, right? And through the Rakach Dash, which is the Holy Spirit. Uh, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent uh, as scourges for amendment. That word scourges is a uh, a whip used as an instrument of punishment, you know. But instead of a whip, it's going to be fam fa famine, plague, uh, tribulation, and anguish. Let's look up this word anguish. Uh, severe mental or physical pain or suffering. Mm. Hey Amen. And you know, mental disorders have skyrocketed ever since all this social media has been out. So, you know, that, <laughs> you can even hear it in the songs, man. That, that fucking, um, uh, uh, XX Temptation or whatever. All these, these whiny rappers, man. Talking about, you know, turning to drugs and how they're suicidal and shit. Anyways, um, but yeah, th this is happening, man. Right in front of your eyes. And only the elect can see it. Um, it says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of their scourges, you know, because they, they still don't turn from their wickedness, even though there's a plague going on, even though, uh, you know, two years ago, there was three back to back to back hurricanes within like two months. There's, her, uh, there's, uh, uh, earthquakes happening all the fucking time, man. You know, I think the latest earthquake was, um, or it is in, in Jamaica, a 7.7 .7 magnitude, they're going on constantly, um, it says, behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the, upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, you know, because Wendy's still got that four for four, you can still get something off the dollar menu, you know, they'll, they think that they're themselves in good case, you know, they don't care about what's going on in Venezuela, down in, in, in South America as a whole, man. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. So just because, you know, here in America, you can get that Wendy's 4 for 4, you know, doesn't mean that evils won't, you know, still grow upon the earth. It says, sword, famine, and great confusion. I want to highlight this great confusion, because this word confusion... Uh, a lack of understanding, uncertainty, you know, people don't know what the hell is going on, man, you know, even with, people know about this coronavirus, but they're so distracted by, you know, Kobe Bryant's death, you know, fucking anything else, man, it doesn't even have to be any other story pushed in the media, people will uh, uh, confuse themselves by just turning to, you know, whatever folly they, they enjoy, whether it's partying on the weekend, whether it's uh, fucking, um, you know, playing the PlayStation, Xbox, you know, fucking, you know, uh, trying to um, uh, build a drop shipping fucking e-commerce store online and trying to get a quick buck, you know, whatever it is, man, because you, you have so much avenues to, you know, uh, enjoy folly in this society you know it says for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy so just because you escape you know the coronavirus oh you got the chip you know they know how to you know you get into that safe, safe zone you know you you um, you escape the the famine you know your city's doing really well your country's doing really well that you escape that and you get the chip and you get into that safe zone the sword is going to destroy you all right and at up at the top of this chapter it talked about a different plague which was uh nuclear missiles and ultimately that's going to be the the sword um yeah starting at the 13th uh
verse. You know, it talks about, yeah, I'll read it. It says, for strong is the right, is, <clears throat> so like it, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right, and no other weapon can do this except for intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right. And, and you know, the scriptures talk about uh, how World War Three is going to be fought with uh, nuclear missiles, man. Um, but that's a lesson for another time. You know, with that, I hope this video was edifying. Um, and shallow one.